Nobody's gonna say it? I'll say it. What's going on right now on YouTube in the name of Summer Wells is a travesty. I watch many YouTube channels to find out information on the Summer Wells case and to update my following, pass on the information to them. Now, it's turned into a Hollywood tabloid perverted situation. This big, the big thing that's going on right now, Benny's List. Benny claims to have a leaked evidence list from Hawkins County Sheriff's Department. The evidence that was obtained from the Wells property in regards to Summer's disappearance. Benny says he wants justice for Summer. The first thing Benny done when he got his leaked list was blast it all across YouTube. Say that was a leaked list. Say it is legit. How much do you think that helped toward getting justice for Summer? Not a bit. If anything, it jeopardized the ability to get justice for Summer. Not only did he leak the so-called evidence list, then he went as far as to go ahead and drum up the narrative of the evidence list. In doing this, he's insinuated that what was on that evidence list pointed at guilt toward the younger Wells sons. And those two things are miles apart. Number one, they take everything they think could possibly be evidence in a case like this. It wouldn't be strange at all for them to take the clothing of everyone on Ben Hill at the time of her disappearance. Number two, they're minors. They're in state custody right now, split up without their parents, and you want to drum up a narrative that points their way. Us logical, critical thinkers. So you want to make them victims to add to the list, because we already know Summer and her brothers were neglected. So you want to put more on them. You want to get public sentiment out there sniffing in the directions of them for some reason. Now, either you don't know how to interpret evidence, which is what I suspect, you made it up, which is what I suspect, or you're in it for yourself, which is what I suspect. After that bit of drama, I see the phone call with Benny and Tiffany Marie. Now let's pray young adults aren't watching this. Because if a young man's watching it, what he's going to see out of this is a man screaming at a woman, referring to her as the B word repeatedly. And that's what a young man's going to see. The exact opposite of how a man should talk, speak to a woman. You ever think, Tiffany, that well, I'm sure you probably put a fucking pound of makeup on? Then... You're going to see Tiffany Marie play it right along. Instead of hanging up and just getting rid of him, which she could have done, she keeps trying to talk to him and let him scream at her, let him scream at her, let him scream at her. And that's a bad example for young women. Now, these videos aren't specially rated to where a parental block's going to keep kids from watching them. So I hope... No other kid seen that spectacle the other day. Because if it was a young man, then he he seen a representation of what men shouldn't be. And if it was a young woman, she seen how not to respect herself enough to cut the conversation off. If a grown man spoke like that to my daughter, I would be extremely upset. 
And if my daughter continued to let him scream at her and call her those names, I would be extremely upset. I would like to think she would stand up for herself and cut him off. Because no life and no views is worth your self-respect. And all this that's going around right now is not helping Summer's case whatsoever. If anything, like I said before, it's damaging it. So my advice to everyone, take everything you hear and see from certain people. Be very skeptical of what you're seeing. Don't believe that somebody is fighting for justice for Summer that's openly publishing and announcing evidence lists and things like that. Be a critical thinker and be skeptical of everyone, especially people who are joining the case now. If somebody comes out now after seeing what a circus this is and starts talking, then they're basically, you can almost guarantee there's something in it for them. Because anybody that really wants to help Summer would go report their tip to the police and not have to be on YouTube channels. It would probably be something you would steer away from, like I said, if you didn't have an alternate reason for coming out.